This game? I don't know. Oh, shit. My bad. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, no. My face is kind of blocking. Oh, I should have put my green screen up so that you don't... It doesn't block the thing. Oh, well. Um, anyway, so as you can see, I'm already... I've been playing it off... Um, off stream to get, like, an idea. I've been playing... 23 hours in game which is crazy that's like the one gripe i already kind of have with the game is that it it goes way too quickly like the replayability is just like, crazy so basically the premise of the game is that it's like this set in the medieval period and your task is that you build legacies you build like you know, you have like once you start with one settler and you're trying to um, pair them based on all of these different criteria because they have all of these like hobbies and likes and different personalities and you try and find like the like the perfect people for them to mate with essentially. And it's it doesn't matter. It can be same um, heterosexual or homosexual, it doesn't matter. They can have kids with each other. It doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I love the art style. The art style is really cute. Um, so that's one thing it's got going for it. Um, but we will start from the very beginning so that you can take a look. Or, I don't know, it's up to you guys. Do you want me to show you... I, I would rather show you from the very beginning so that you can see kind of like the lay of the land instead of what I've go got going on in the original... like in the in the game in progress. Um, but, yeah, just so you can see kind of what... Yeah. Yeah, see, this game has been going on for 75 in-game years. And apparently... Like, the game will just stop at some point. It'll... Because people were saying in the comments... Sorry, in the reviews that, like, the game just stops. And it's like, you won! And I'm like, what the fuck? That's so stupid. So, that's why it's kind of got not, not such great views, reviews. Um, yeah. In, in On Steam. But, uh, so far, it's kind of addictive. So, let's just show you... Um, yeah, so see how I'm getting already close to the end? It's saying classic is about 75 years. And let's do... Yeah, it's going to end, like, really soon, which sucks. And they haven't even, like, developed... Like, it's technically still in, like, you know, beta or whatever. Like, they're... I don't know, they haven't really tested it fully in, in endless mode or, like, sandbox mode or whatever, which is kind of dumb. Um, but yeah, there's different game styles. Um, yeah. So there's different service buildings you can have. Um, so there's, you can choose to be like a mason, a fisherman, a baker. So th th and they have um, t three different tiers of, um, as you would in the medieval period, you would be like an artisan or a peasant. So you'd be like a farmer or a hunter. Or you could be an artisan, like a mason, a baker, or, or a seamster, or seamstress. Um, but then you can also be part of the illicit trade, like um, being a thief or an assassin, um, be a, a gambler, like a croupier, um, or being a sex worker, or something like that. So you could, it de depends on what, but it also depends on like your personality. It also depends on your, um, like what you're born with, essentially. <laughs> Which is interesting. Um, so, yeah, you'll you'll see. Um, so I'm just gonna start with novice, and we'll just start with the lowest. Yeah, we won't do a tutorial because I've already kind of know what I'm doing, and we'll do classic uh, at 75 years because whatever. Um, we'll just. And the music is adorable in this game. I was doing some... When I was doing the dishes, I was letting the game, like, run. Um, while all of my people were busy, like, you know, chopping wood and doing all of their things. Because I'm such a... 
because I'm such a, uh, you know, freak when it comes to this stuff. I'm just like, do all of your things while I'm busy doing my, you know, dishes and cleaning and stuff like that. I was like dancing to the music in my apartment like a fucking freak. Um, but anyway, I like medieval music. So Kel's like, I love how we went from chatting about sitcoms to improv insanity to, to chill gay presentation. The only thing that's missing is astrology. I know. It, this is like the most schizophrenic stream ever. I'm so sorry. Okay. So we start out. Um, actually, you know what? I am going to turn down the music a little bit. Because the music can get a little bit annoying. Um, just so that you can hear me. Uh, but you can still hear the music, right? Hopefully. Anyway, so you start out with just one guy. Tristan Edison. He's 19 years old. And you he's automatically just a peasant. And not just. He's, he's a peasant. <laughs> And he can only be a lumberjack because you need wood to, in order to sustain your population to do pretty much anything. You need to build a home for him and you can't build a home for him because you need to chop the wood. So the first thing you need to do is you click on lumberjacks and you need to give him a job, which will start him producing the wood. So chopping down the wood, essentially. So we do that. But... The first thing that you need to do, because this is a dating sim, is we go to this woman called Old Tindra. She's like the neighborhood, like astrologer person that like the, I don't know, the, the, the matchmaker or whatever. So she looks in her like crystal ball and she can match you up with someone in, um, in the town or in the surroundings. So you take your person, in this case, Tristan, and you're like, hey, please, I'd like to find my soulmate. So Tristan has not great charisma. He's not very charismatic. He's 19 years old and he's a peasant. That's all we know about him. But then you can click on his character sheet and we get to learn a little bit more about him. He, his aspiration in life is he's a bookworm. He likes books, good for him. Uh, his XP gain is for leadership and knowledge, multiple, multiplied by 1.5, okay, whatever. Um, but he's a strong, strong man. So good thing about him is that he would be a good lumberjack, a good sex worker, and a good mason. They call it man of the evening. I'm like, oh, he's a good whore. Love it. <laughs> so I, I'm like, love that. Anyway, so... It gives you this thing in the corner here, which you can't see because my um, thing is cover my face is covering it, but it says potential. And then underneath it, it'll give one, two, and three. Actually, maybe I can hide my, uh, just so you can see it quickly. Um, yeah, so it says lumberjack, mason, and man of the evening. And it gives you, in some cases, it'll give like an aspiration that Tristan has. So he aspires to be a sex worker and he'll have like these little stars around it. So he aspires to be like the best sex worker in the entire town. And then he will have um, like, he will produce faster than everybody else as a result. So yeah, it, it's great. So once you, cause I had in my other game a guy and a girl who were the best sex workers in the entire, if, yeah. So I put them in and they were just pumping out, <laughs> pumping out the sex. And everybody was kept kept happy in the entire town. I'm like, yes, open those legs. Let's do this. It's great. Anyway, um, I love it when my people produce. <laughs> um, anyways, so this is Tristan. And he's devout, so I haven't gotten to that point yet, but there's, you can also build like a church and um, they can worship and blah, blah, blah. So he's very devout, devout, um, which is interesting because he has, he would make a really good sex worker, but you can also have them be like super devout as well at the same time, which is also amazing. Um, he's very shy. 
Um, but he's also very ill-mannered. So he slams doors and he burps while he eats. So I would love to pair him up with someone who hates all of those things. It would be great. Um, uh, some congenital traits that he can pass on to his kids. He's also smart. We love a smart king. We love a smart king who's also ill-mannered. Good for him. We love it. Um, anyway, so that's... And then the relationships tab uh, tells you a little bit about his preferences. So we, here are some things that Tristan loves, or likes rather. He likes divination. So he, um, he likes tarot cards and astrology. Loves that. Love that for him. Good king. Um, we don't know when his birthday is. I, I would say he's probably a Gemini. Uh, so flowers. He likes flowers. And he likes cuddles. Love a king who loves cuddles. Um, doesn't like war. Doesn't like dueling. And he doesn't like painting. So there's that. So there's like a little bit of like Sims in this as well. Which is because Sims also has like these things as well. When you click on their profile it has like little things about how they don't like this and da 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 and when you meet other other sims then they can talk about these things anyways when you start meeting people they show up in this relationships thing tab here and you can choose to move their picture into this little question bo box here and start cultivating relationships with people so if you want to even if they're married to other people you can start like cheating on people if you want to um and if they're married to someone else say if tristan right now i'm going to marry him off to somebody but if they're married um you can choose to end the relationship that they're currently with and marry them off to someone else which i have done multiple times because just you know to create a little bit of drama so maybe we'll do that tonight uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's Tristan Edison. Do we want to change his name? Do we like Tristan Edison or do we want to give him a different name? I don't know. I'm okay with Tristan Edison for now. Let's, uh, let's find his soulmate in the surroundings. So who do we got? Okay, first we've got, <laughs> we've got Chloe. Chloe has three charisma. She's 28, so she's... <laughs> okay she's, she's a bit of an old queen we love that in comparison to him um and it gives you a rating about whether they would be like a good like couple and it says bad so okay um not so great he loves divination and flowers she hates that so it could be great um see how i was talking about the little stars around what they aspire to be she wants to be an actress or a painter um he hates painting, so they would make a great couple. Uh, so, some traits, personality traits. She's boring. <laughs> she's boring. She's kind, and she's ascetic. So she loves to she loves to fast. So she doesn't eat a lot. Oh, we love we love uh, an ED queen, uh, an ED queen who's also an actress. Can oh my goodness. Okay. Um, uh, not a bad joke, but, um, so you can choose to skip people and you have a certain amount of these things called hearts, which you like, a as the game goes on, you gain more hearts. I don't really know, um, what that means exactly or how you gain them, but you just gain them. So you can choose to skip. I'm going to skip Chloe. Ooh, Frederick. Nordic Prince. What are you? Oh, and they have a good affinity. They both dislike. Um, Frederick is funny. He wants to be a livestock farmer or a sex worker. We, we love it. We love it. And he's a little bit closer in age to uh, Tristan. So I think this is a yes. Let's send them on a date. Let's do it. So you send them on a date and this is what happens. So you need to memorize, and this is the one thing I don't like about this game. You need to memorize, oh, sorry, let me, well, actually I'll keep my, my video off so that you can see this part here. Uh, sorry, this part here. <laughs> you need to memorize what's on these cards. Like, uh, it's yeah, it's weird. You need to memorize what's on these cards. And so for a while, I've just been, for the past little while, I've been memorizing like what they don't like. So it's easier for, um, 
for me to remember for the date to go well. So Frederick doesn't like music. He doesn't like the art of war. And he doesn't like kittens. Oh, my God. He likes muscles. Love that. He likes the countryside. And he likes public executions. <laughs> Frederick is a freak. Love it. Okay, let's see. Music, art of war, kittens. <laughs> so then it asks you these questions. Um... So he doesn't like kittens, so I'm going to choose this. So that's a good sign. So they're sitting in a, in a, in a like, tavern. Um, everything seems fine. Say, what about a boat ride on the lake? Everyone knows that big muscles imply a small brain. How about attending the next public execution together? I know that he likes that. What a delightful idea. Frederick loves to boo and lapidate people all the more when they're guilty. <laughs> Frederick is a freak. Seven days a week. Say, what about going up the hill to enjoy the moonlight? Tristan and Frederick both enjoy the pale moonlight. The unique moment allows them... Look at... Also, look at her eyes. Like, the creepy. Um, so, talk about their favorite songs. Oh, shit. No, he doesn't like music. Shit, I forgot. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, it's a match, so it's fine. And so this is the other thing that I don't like about this game, is that it automatically, like, marries them. So they're married. Like, you can't live in sin. It, I know that it is the medieval times, whatever. But they automatically marry, so they have to be married. This is their wedding day. They're going to get married. And that's that. Congratulations. So. Frederick Orsini and Tristan Edison have met. And now they share the following. They're infatuated with each other. Love it. Okay. Well, here's the thing. What's your aspiration? He wants to be a livestock farmer. Okay. Well, too bad. You're going to have to be... We need to, uh, first of all, we need to get um, him chopping some fucking wood because we need a house. Right? Remember I was saying that we need to chop wood? <laughs> Alright, let's bring me back here. It's a little slow because we have to he's he's not his aspiration tristan's aspiration is not to be a lumberjack so we have to be we have to be a little bit patient and also also kind of shitty about this is that um you can't unlike other city sims you can't place the buildings where you want to. So when I click on build, you know, there are, you know, certain buildings that you want to build. You can't place them where you want. It automatically just places it wherever you want. Uh, sorry, it automatically places where it's places them wherever um, it's been pre-placed is what I'm trying to say. Wow, that took me forever to, whoa. Tristan wanted to show Frederick his luth. Shyly, he sang a ballad he had composed exclusively for Frederick. The serenade was unlike anything Frederick had ever heard before. What did he think about it? My oh my. Okay, marvelous. They love each other. Whatever. Great. Okay, so now we've got enough to build the house for them. And this is their home. So now... Um, they need to have kids, so that's what's going to happen, and it'll happen probably within nine months or something. Um, love it. They're in love. Okay, so let's go back to the village. We have 43... Um, so this is another screen where you recruit people, um, 
because obviously we can't just survive off of two people. We need, and, and until they have kids, you need to get more people. So it gives you the option to recruit people from their surroundings of Lakeburg. And it costs money, obviously. So here it goes. What do we need? So we have uh, two people. We have Astrid and Eamon. One is a noble, one is the artisan. What do we need right now? We have a croupier. We don't have, first of all, we don't have that yet. Uh, yeah, like a, 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 we don't have that building. A mason would be nice. You also have to think about the like the resources that your town needs, immediate needs. So stone is is something that your town needs, uh, but we need food <laughs> before we need stone. So hunter is also something that he's good at, and I feel like maybe recruiting him might be good. So let's recruit him. So he would be good as a hunter, and I feel like maybe we should build a hunter's cabin as soon as we can. What do we need for a hunter's cabin? Oh wait, no, sorry, we need a, f a farm before we build. Oh, we can put him as a farmer, that's fine. So yeah, as soon as you build that, like it just, or you press build, it'll just, yeah, it's pre-populated unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but anyway. Okay, Frederick is going to be working there. He's going to produce some vegetables because we need food. And Eamon, this costs 15. Okay, well, we're going to put him to work there. And we were also going to upgrade the fa the this to a multi-purpose so that we can produce wheat as well. Because what do we need wheat for? Bread. Because we need some variety, of course. That's why I love these games. I'm like, yes, we need wheat for bread. And then eventually, you know, this, my other city is, or my other game is all of this is all like populated, of course, because I went a little crazy. Um, let's get Eamon a girlfriend or a boyfriend or, or both. So the only thing that kind of sucks about this is it's a little repetitive, right? Like it's the same shit when you're trying to like get someone I don't know when you're trying to marry people off and then they have babies and then the baby well you'll see once um, uh, Tristan and his partner have kids you'll see what you can do with the kids the kids can work of course because this is a medieval times and no kid gets left behind um, uh, meaning like, like I did with Frostpunk and like kids don't stay at home they're gonna fucking work <laughs> they're gonna work in the mines they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna work in the bakeries they're gonna work everyone works okay no one is gonna stay at home um yeah and so the same thing goes in this game as well all the kids are being mentored especially in the artisan trades uh all the kids are mentored by an adult and they're learning a trade except you can't I tried. I, well, not tried, but I was looking. You can't mentor as an assassin. Like, kids can't learn to be assassins, thieves, and obviously sex workers, which is totally not... Which is good, obviously. Um, but, like, they can't become gamblers, murderers, thieves, anything like that. Um, which would be really fucked up if they <laughs> gave you that option. But, yeah. Uh, but everything else they can be apprentices to become, which is good. All right, let's uh, find someone for Eamon. Oh, Bartholomew. Look at Bar Okay, Bartholomew is 28. He has got some charisma. He wants to be a gatherer or a livestock, or he wants to be a sex worker. We love that for him. He hates feasting. He and he, I'm sorry, he loves feasting. And he hates muscles. Hates it. Um, he's brave. He's lazy. And he's kind. Okay. We love that for him. He has nothing that he's going to pass on to his children. Love that for him too. Um, but he's very charismatic. Okay. All right. We love that for him. Love how he doesn't like muscles. 
He's like, muscles are gross. They're so gross. Um, not good affinity, though. Hmm. Do we want to... Okay, no. Aww. Oh, look at this! Gadool! Eamon and Gadool Lee. I love pastries, but no biscuit is as sweet as your smile. Look at this. She wants to be a gatherer, a sex worker, or a livestock farmer. Okay, so she loves mussels, dislikes treats, and dislikes feasting. But here, her, here are her traits. She's mean. She's a coward. And she's lazy. And she's 20. So she's a little bit younger than... She would be younger than her husband by five years. I think she is perfect for her husband. Aventurous is asking how he lost his eye. Does it say? Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say that. I think that they're perfect for each other. Because what's Eamon's thing? What's his... He is devout, ascetic, and energetic. No traits that he can pass on to his kids. Okay, and he's... Okay. No, I think this is good. This is good. Let's, let's... Okay, you can't see, but anyway. Treats, music, feasting. Remember that. Treats, music, feasting. She doesn't like that. Okay. <gasps> yep. Treats, music, feasting. Okay. Perfect. I'm doing well. Yeah, three for three, baby. Okay, it's a match. We're doing it. We're doing well. Look at that. Affinity. Excellent. Primarily depends on hobbies. The couple's love will tend to increase. I've actually never done or I don't. But we're going to get married. Congratulations. All right, let's build a house for them. Oops, sorry. Let's click on houses. Let's build a house for them. And then let's put her as the owner of the house. The Cabrera family. And Eamon, the noble. He's a noble. Oh, okay. She's 20. They got married. And they are obsessed with having kids. Actually, you know what? I might even open up this one actually no let's let's not do that perfect okay great love it um let us let us let's get her a job so we can cycle through all of our available buildings which is just two at the moment so maybe we can what's her aspiration what does she want to do she wants to be a gatherer a livestock farmer or a sex worker okay um well we don't have anything uh, okay it's maybe not gonna work Well, we need a hunter's cabin. That's important. Oh, a baby was born. So we have baby Louisa. They have a, a little kid together. A little, little blonde kid. Which makes sense because dads are very blonde. Um, so we're going to have to make... Well, she's not going to be a very good hunter. As you can see, This, the way that this is sorted... It says workers by potential. Um, her, she only has one star. She's not going to be a very good hunter. But unfortunately, she's all we have. She's only going to produce five leathers. <laughs> um, so it's not going to be very good. But anyway, it's the best we can do at this point. Um, and we're going to upgrade this, the hunter's cabin to also produce meat. 
So she's also going to produce two meat for us. Oh. Okay, so this... Oh, these, they, two of them have met. Frederick and Gadul. Gaduli? Gadule? Let's recruit more people. Oh, and then we also have this. We have a guy called Ernesto. Um, <laughs> Ernesto comes and he likes to come and trade um, for money. So we get, like... If we have any, actually not um, re like overstock or whatever, or over resources in the granary, <laughs> he'll come and be like, hey, can we get some vegetables off of you? And he'll give us money. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Do we have enough to give away? Should we? I mean, yeah, sure. And then you can entice. There's a llama. Oh, shit. An event. Frederick is a master joker. All day long, he does nothing but spout copious amounts of puns, which are often so bad that few who understand them would rather have their eardrums pierced. Uh, however, he does have a small group of admirers who love his humor, which ranges from genius to beyond lame. Can relate. What should we do with it? Put on a show. Um, put on a show. Yeah, anyways. Oh! Another baby. The Cabrera's had a baby. Love it. So you can call the... If you want to uh, get Ernesto to come to... So that you can earn, earn some money. Uh, you can entice the llama, the, his little llama, with um, some hearts and some vegetables. So you can call him. And be like, Wah. So you can get some offers. Um, let's recruit some more people. Let's actually recruit, um, Valerius. Innkeeper, miner, and hunter. I think maybe we should recruit him because we need an actual hunter and he will have better production than the lady that I have in there currently. So let's recruit him. And then we can get him married off. Bring in more people, more babies. You know what I'm saying? All right, Valerius. Actually, actually, Tristan, Tristan isn't that bad. He's got three and a half stars, but we will open up a new slot and we'll throw in Valerius. I mean, he's not that great. Um, he's not very strong in comparison, as you can see, to our boy Tristan. Tristan is super strong, and yeah, his stats are way better than Valerius but anyway at least he yeah look look at he produces 23 wood and this guy only produces nine but oh and then the other thing that it will influence your production is the ambience within the workplace so some people may not get along <laughs> and there will be like a little um a little indicator whether or not two people get along with each other there'll be a little bomb if they don't or a flower if they do and that will also affect production so sometimes like i'll be like why aren't you guys producing any wood what the fuck is happening and it's because tristan and valerius hate each other and then you have to like fire one of them and then hire somebody else it's it's like a whole thing it's very very it's lots of drama but um anyway that's that Look at him. He's a fucking beast. Look at this. 23 wood and this guy 9. Anyway, he may have been a terrible hire, but... Maybe, you know, he'll... Alright. And then as Louisa and Euphemia... Oh, look at that. Okay, let's get a Valerius married off so he can produce some babies. He's 22. What's what's your stats? Okay, he's homeless right now, so that is affecting. That's like a like a like an effect on him right now, and he's not really doing that well. His morale is down because he's 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 losing faith in life because he's homeless. And yeah, so we got to fix that. And he will also probably get a buff as well if he's been single for too long. He'll be like, oh, I'm sad. I'm single. Um, he's satisfied because he's got wood. Love that. Love a man that's satisfied that he's got wood. 
Valerius Ashcroft. He wants to be strong. Love that for you, King. We love that for you. Um, he wants to be a lumberjack. <laughs> but he's not very good at it. Oh, God bless his heart. Um, you know, he's only... He's young. He's You're young, hun. Let's get you a boyfriend or girlfriend. Let's... Let's find your soulmate. Um, like I said, you can find somebody within Lakeburg or the surroundings, and we're going to go with surroundings. So, behind door number one, we've got Matilda. Not a very good match for you, unfortunately, because you love kittens and mussels, and she hates kittens and mussels, so that's a no. And you also have to look at aspirations. She aspires to be a gatherer, and we don't have uh, the facilities for a gatherer. Um, although, we do need a huntress. Oh, we're fishermen. Uh, Matilda's a no for me. Oh. Oh, no. Bad. Okay. He wants to be a... Uh, a sex worker. A mason. No, he wants to be... Actually, he wants to be a fashion designer. But... He's also mean. Proud. And depressive. So... What's a no? Aww. Ooh, Eldrick! Okay, so they have average. He likes silver and gold, and Valerius doesn't like that. But Eldrick is funny. That could be good. He likes dancing, and ooh, he's strong. Hmm. And he's young. Okay, that could be good. Hmm. And he's devout, and they're both devout. That could be good. And he likes a strong man, and okay, that could work. Hmm. <laughs> he likes public executions. That could be good. Uh, um. I mean, we could go for a perfect match. Perfect matches are great. Um, they're they're rare, but oh, okay. Bridget. Bridget is a good match. She likes mussels and fishing. She, mm, she aspires to be a gatherer, which we don't have a thing for, but we do need a mason eventually or a sex worker, so that's good. Um, she's ascetic, she's humble, and she goes all the way no matter what it takes. Same. Um, she's ugly. <laughs> she's ugly. Oh, bless her heart. She's she's ugly. And she's 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 a little bit old. Well, she's five years older than her husband, so or her potential husband. So that could be good. Um I mean, her husband is a bit of a looker, or her potential husband is a bit of a looker, and she's not. And that's okay. I mean and she's noble. She comes from the noble class, and he's just like a, you know, as you wish peasant. So this could be interesting. Let's see. I'm I'm interested in this pairing. So she doesn't like reading, she doesn't like flowers, and she doesn't like the art of war. Just remember that. Um, she likes mussels, dancing, and fishing. Oh, oh she hates flowers because she's allergic to them. Good to know. Oh. Seems to be fine. Say, what about the boat ride on the lake? Um... Yes, she hates books. Yeah, I remember that. Yes. Aww. Oh, shit, I forgot. She likes dancing. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, doesn't matter. Two, best two out of three. All right, good. Yes, they will get married and everything will be good. We'll do the hand joining. All right, perfect. So let's build a house for them. And we will make Valerius the owner of the house. They do want kids. They're not really crazy about having kids, but they do want kids. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... They have a one-year-old. Okay. They, yeah, they will also say whether or not they want children here 
you can also force them to have kids. Um, sometimes they will also have a buff that says that they hate children. <laughs> so, uh, and then you can also, yeah, and you'll force them to have kids and then they get really angry with you. It's wonderful. It, yeah, it's truly a work of art. Anyway, um, let's get these people a job. Okay, Bridget wants to be a, a lumberjack. Okay. She's not going to be a particularly good lumberjack, but she's going to be a lumberjack. We love a her. Oh, I'm sorry. This is, she's a farmer. My bad. Um, can I just make this smaller? Um, should we make production? Actually, you know what? That's fine. We need more hunters because I need to know. Oh, what is this? Uh oh, Bridget and Frederick have a secret crush on each other. <gasps> okay, all right. Can we can we make? Eee! Okay. Wait, who's? Hold on. Okay, so Frederick is married to Tristan, right? We, we did that. He is a perfect match with Gudul. And he has an excellent rating with Bridget. Oh, this is oh this is good. Oh, this is good. This is good tea. I love this. Okay, so Frederick, you little hoe. Look at him hoeing it up. Like he's married, has a kid, but has a perfect match with another woman who is married to... Who is she married to? married to Eamon right Eamon is her husband she doesn't like her own kid <laughs> ah! oh my god that's the best she is she doesn't like her own kid <laughs> I mean sometimes you just hate your own child I mean that shit happens right okay let's 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 fuck around here I like it I like just you know messing with people's lives that's just do it. Perfect match? I mean, this is great. How are they a perfect match, though? Like... She hates her own child. Like, I mean, this is perfect. How could this be any more perfect, honestly? Yeah, young parent buff. Um, nights are short. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, she also has a night young, young parent buff. All right, um, all right, let's fuck with them a little bit. Uh, oh, it went down. It used to say perfect match. Okay. Ah! Oh, whoa. Not getting how one can live without tenderness, Tristan oft offers to hug everyone. Oh, T, 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 T. Some, like Gadul and Bridget, love the idea, but others find it embarrassing. Tristan's relatives are a little worried for his mental health. What should we do? Nothing. That's great. Tristan continues to offer free hugs, which seems to please everyone. Although Gadul and uh, Bridget are asking for a bit more. This could lead to some complications. Yes. Wait a second. Okay. Tristan is married to Frederick. Frederick is the one that is secretly in love with Bridget and Gadul. This is great. And Tristan is also down. What a hoe. What a hoe. These people. Okay, what's his relationship? He also hates his own kid. Amazing. He has an average relationship with these people. Okay, what? No, sorry. He is a secret crush on Bridget. So I think he's gonna greet her. Maybe greet her again. Maybe we're gonna go to Bridget. 
Oh, she has a crush on, on Trist. <gasps> she has a crush on Tristan? What a hoe! I love it. Okay, great. I'm ready to break up a marriage. I am. Let's do it. These people, these medieval people, I bet they were just fucking all over the place. Like, literally fucking all over the place, not like geographically all over the place. Okay, so Frederick has a secret crush on Bridget. Bridget has a crush on his husband. This is great. You can't make this shit up. How come my game, my other game wasn't this, this great? Frederick and Bridget Anderson have met and developed the, fo the following feeling. Impressed. Love to see it. Oh. Excuse me, I burped. One second, I have to take my medication. Tristan is a Mac and Bridget gonna get some fun time, says Mentors. Yeah, man. All right. <clears throat> is everybody employed? Or, no, everybody's employed. Okay, good. So can we maybe build another... Let's maybe... Okay. What should we do next? We should re recruit more people. Uh, we should. Okay. Should we? Okay, we've got a prankster, which we don't have a. It's like a prank house, which. You can't actually build any of the like illicit buildings. So your uh, brothel, your thieves house, assassins house, um, the prank house. You can't build any of those. They just like pop up automatically, which is kind of dumb. So yeah, anyway. What can we build? What are the most important? We, we do need... Uh, uh, we do need clothing. So let's build the sewing workshop, I think. And then we need to build the this. Actually, maybe we need to build the mason's workshop first. And then we need to build the mine. And then the sewing workshop. Yes, let's do that. Do we have anybody? Okay, let's recruit somebody to work there. Let's recruit Elorain. Elorain with no eye. Uh, um, let's recruit her. Elorain with no eye. Alright, Elorain. Elorain produces eight stone. Will become a peasant. Oh, in a thousand days because I think her she is. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, is she an artisan? Whatever. It doesn't matter. That's she wants. She that's what she wanted to be. So that's what she becomes. Um. Frederick have met. And have developed the following feeling exhausted. Oh, probably because of the baby. Um, should we build a house for her? Homeless Elaine. Elaine. Now she has a house. Whoops. 
Let's get her married off to someone. Don't have any suitors in Lakeburg. Okay, Ursilda. Okay, well, she's bad. Okay, got Emilaric. Love, they both love poetry. He owns a romantic ta trait, and Elaraine is mean. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, and Emilaric is simple. He's not very smart. Okay, well, what does he, what does he aspire to be? A baker. So you don't have to be very smart to be a baker. So it's okay. Um, but we do need a hunter, so that's good. Um, he likes to drink, and he's very romantic. That's good. What's your deal? Uh, what's her deal? She's devout, she's mean, and she's depressive. Well, you know, maybe they'll balance each other out. Let's, let's go on a date, Amalaric. Muscles, dueling, music. Remember that. Muscles, dueling, music. Okay. Um. Right. Right. <laughs> Muscles dueling music. Muscles dueling music. He hates war. Muscles dueling and music. Criticize dancing, dancers, and every other activity m involving moving and rhythm. Oh. Living in this hellhole is such a bore. Emilaric also hates being woken every morning by the rooster, the hens, and the flies. Okay, that was a three for three. See? Okay, so they have a good affinity. That's great. She's 26, he's 26. Perfect. I do. Let's get married. So now they live in the house. Um, just curious what they're... Oh, the Baglioni family. Elirane Baglioni. 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 Okay. So they're obsessed with having babies. Italian. Um, look at this. This wood production is crazy. I'm, like, that's wild. That's so high, because in my other game, I was having so much trouble getting it to that to that high. How is it that high? And how are we, like, yeah, this, okay, I'm gonna increase it to 1500, because that's wild. This is another thing, is that the granary, you're having to, like, keep increasing the, the stockpile, because it's so low. It's very annoying. But, um, are we low anywhere else? No. We don't even have any clothes and we need to, we need a seams, seamstress. Friedrich and Gadul are now close friends, huh? While having a romantic walk, Bridget and Valerius, oh my god, noticed a cat sheltering beneath a porch with a litter of newborn kittens. Valerius looked Bridget straight in the eye. Her reaction to those little crudy cuties would be crucial. So adorable. Seeing Bridget approach the kittens while whispering calm words to avoid scaring them off, Valerius felt his heart melt like snow in the sun. He rushed to join her, sitting on the ground amongst those furry cuties. Both lovebirds grew closer than before. <gasps> Cheaters! Okay, no, we need to make this happen. We need to have them cheat. We need to have them fuck. <laughs> we need to make it happen. How do we make it happen? Wait, was it Frederick? Frederick, relationships. The date with Bridget will start with a certain level of existing love. I love how he's also madly in love with his husband, but he's also he's also going on dates with other he's going on dates with other women. Like just the audacity of it all. He's sad. Why are you sad? Oh, this guy's a Libra for sure. He's indecisive about who he loves. <laughs> um what about you, Tristan? 
Oh. Why are you having a bad relationship with her? What's going on? He's sad about something. Why are you sad? Oh. He hates his he hates his daughter. We love that. Okay, his daughter is now old enough to work. So we're gonna put her in the fucking mines. What do we what is her deal? Okay, so this is Louisa. Louisa is doesn't eat a lot. She likes dueling, painting, silver and gold, the countryside, feasting, and fashion. Work queen. Um okay. So she wants to be a lumberjack. Okay, perfect. We can put you as a lumberjack apprentice. Um, that's great. So here's how we do that. There's a mentorship tab. And we can put... Well, obviously we're going to have Tristan mentor her because he's the fucking best. And he's going to train her to become a lumberjack and that's how that works it adds a trait like a buff to Tristan where he can become stressed you can also stress him out to the point of death I've done that where I've added like three mentors to see what happens and then the guy then it gives you yeah you can stress him out to the point of death I did I've killed a couple of, of my people uh, to the point where they just died and I'm like oh no he's dead the worst anyways whatever Sometimes you gotta die a little. And Euphemia is probably going to be old enough to work soon as well. Uh-oh. Look at Frederick being such a hoe. Frederick has also developed a crush on Eamon. Somebody else. Wait a second. Isn't Eamon the husband of his girlfriend? <gasps> These fucking horrors out here. Yeah. Eamon is the husband of his girlfriend. Oh my god. Frederick is a hoe. Bridget? No, I'm sorry. Bridget is married to Valerius. Gadul is married to Emmet. Eamon. Gadul is the one that's dating. <gasps> okay, can't get. I, I can't get it all straight. Gadul, Gaduli, whatever. Gadul is married to Eamon. Eamon. Okay. Gadul is married to Eamon. Eamon. Gadul is married to Eamon. Gadul is dating, also dating, Frederick. Frederick is married to Valerius, who is, uh, no, who is married to Gadul. What? What is happening? No. No. Sorry. Sorry. Frederick Valerius is married to Bri okay, I can't I can't keep track of all the relationships. They're all hoes. Ah! What is wrong with medieval people? Did this Okay, look at Euphemia. She's hilarious, the little gap teeth like me. Um she wants to be a mason, a painter, or a baker. Okay, well we can we can set that up, I think. All right, we're gonna build the sewing workshop. And we're gonna recruit a seamstress. Uh, let's, or seamster, whatever, tailor, seamster. Let's recruit Se Severina, ay ay ay. Recruit. And then we are going to put Euphemia as, uh, as a men mentee for her. But then we also need to build a home for her. Severina. Severina. Uh, needs a partner. I don't think we have anybody in town, do we? No. We need to find somebody for her. Okay, Eve. Oh, right off the bat. Look at that. Eve is cute. Eve is 29, a little bit older than her p potential wife. 
Um, devout. She's a little depressive, but romantic. Um, wants to be a baker. Perfect. We need a baker. Because I'm going to build a bakery. Um, great. We love it. Severina's a little mean, but it's okay. We love it. Like, they both dislike reading. Perfect. Love it. Reading, divination, kittens. We love it. We love it. Uh, reading, divination, kittens. With a date. Oh, reading, divination, and kittens. Oh. Criticize dancing. Oh, it's none of those things, though. Criticize the work of the realm's best painter. Did it say that she likes dancing? Oh. oh. Damn it. <laughs> oh damn it one out of three yeah it was still one out of three and I, it's still a match apparently oh damn it but still they got a good affinity but okay chances of having a baby very low but okay well We'll just have to build them a home. Okay, let's build that bakery. And we are going to put these two in the bakery. So we can produce that bread, baby. Do they have a house? Oops, oh shit, I keep clicking on the wrong one here. Yeah. See, that's the first time I've ever seen that. See the little heart between the two of them? Like, that's it's not very good. <laughs> Let's give them some gifts. Try and build that heart a little, a little bit bigger. They wish for a baby, but they probably... Oh, someone had a baby! Yay! Um, maybe we can build it up a little bit more. So they have a better relationship. Oh, shit. I did start them off on a good foot. My bad. Um. For the past few days, the weather hasn't been very inviting. It's raining in Lakeburg. Not very much, mind you, but just enough to say it's raining. Tiny, cold, uh, wispy droplets are drizzling all day and when the rain stops the sky stays gray some days it looks like nighttime or it feels like it's raining even when it's not morale is at half mast oh shit okay that's not good I don't really know how to fix that but anyway alright Elder have a good night so Bridget can have other children if she's practicing infidelity or no? Or must they have find a new partner? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Like, if she can get pregnant by other people? Like, or or just anybody can get pregnant with other people? I'm, I'm no, I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, I should also call it a night as well um but yeah that is the basics of this game and as you can see there are you can build a fisherman's hut where i am in my other game i've just built the castle once you build the castle you can start building a royal uh bloodline so you can designate who will be the king and queen or king and king or queen and queen and then from there determine from like determine who will be and you, you so it tells you you need to choose wisely because then from there it, you can have like all of the traits that those two people have will be passed down for generation to generation uh so you know don't choose a 
someone with a club foot because that club foot will be <laughs> will be passed down to all the kids. Or like, don't choose someone who's stupid because that stu- stupidity will also be passed down. Don't choose someone that's mean because that'll also be passed down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, yeah. So that's where I am in my other game, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. And so there's also this like banquet. You can also add a jousting area. Uh, the ballroom. The, this is the gambling den where you can have to hire the croupier. Um, excuse me. And then like weapons in the butcher shop, the painter's workshop, etc. And there's like the church, the training post, the theater where you can become actors. There's the bard's house, the school where you can send your kids to school. Haven't gotten there yet, of course. Um, but yeah, those are the other buildings. I, I find the, the, the there's are certainly limitations to the game, of course, but um, I find that it's been really fun so far. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm like, yeah, there's certainly things about the game that I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Just, yeah. So annoying. But anyways, yeah, that's it. That's uh, that is Lakeburg Legacies. I thought it was like in, in execution, very interesting prospect uh, to have it kind of be like a dating sim ish. But the dating aspect of it is very like, I mean, not very good. <laughs> there isn't really like a lot of customization in that regard. It's very repetitive, um, but and it's more and it's less i don't know like there isn't really much replayability uh with it so it's kind of like yeah it, and it also i i picked it up on a pretty deep sale so that's also why i was drawn to it but like with the resource management uh aspect i kind of liked it and i also like the fact that you like look at everybody's stats and you're like okay well i can mix these people together and they work well together and then you see you know how well their production uh like how well they work together and how you know that particular building works to boost your my other game my my coffers are pretty well stocked so i was like okay i'm doing well <laughs> i'm looking like five thousand gold i'm doing i'm doing okay um but you know i gotta pick that royal family uh line um and we'll we'll have to go we'll have to see what happens with the uh with the royal family but anyways that's um yeah it was i thought they did it i first of all i love the art i think the art is so adorable and i think yeah i think it's i think it's interesting i thought it was interesting yeah pick it up on a deep sale and uh yeah so that was that was that anyways guys thank you so it's been this is a long this is a long fucking stream three hours jeez on a on a school night jeez uh anyways if you are watching and you don't really follow me please go ahead hit the follow button turn on notifications so you know when i go live next i stream on thursday sometimes fridays at 6 30 eastern standard time um two ways you can support the channel uh, you can subscribe, which gives you access to some movie nights and, and listening parties on my Discord, which is open to everybody. So join my Discord and pick a role so that you can talk in my Discord. Um, yeah, so do that. Um, yeah, do that. In, or you can join my Patreon, which supports me and my musical journey. Ooh, I just got really tired. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> very very tired uh yeah of course me my musical journey very much appreciate it anyways but thank you for hanging out tonight thank you for participating chatting all that fun stuff next week what are we doing next week producer what are we doing next week bubba what are we doing next week next week we've got banishers ghost of new eden that's a first look for me uh i actually don't know i'm pretty sure but my computer is not going to be able to run it um my graphics card is not strong enough i don't think so i might have to replace that with a different game i might do tales from the borderlands uh next week instead and we'll do uh episode one and two 
and then we'll do three and four the following week um, instead. And we have to wait until I get a stronger, <laughs> until we get my new setup in order to play uh, Vanishers. It just, yeah, <laughs> until we get, we get that. Oh, anyways, so there's that. Uh, we'll just have to wait until we can, you know, do all that. Anyways, so that's next week. Uh, so yeah, next week, Thursday, 6 30 Standard Time. And yeah, guys, I hope you have a good evening. Hope you have a good rest of your week and weekend. And we'll see you next Thursday at 6 30 Eastern Standard Time. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. I'm going now. <laughs>